My brother Graham wants to work in the MBA doing analytics, and so in this video, I'll walk him and you through the process of creating a sports analytics project specifically for the MBA that'll hopefully get him and you hired. So I know a couple months ago, you had said that the Utah Jazz had opened up a data internship, right? The good news is I found another one. Graham and I spent the next half hour diving really deep inside of this job description for this job opening for this MBA data position. And we came up with the decision that we really needed to show that we had ETL API skills, basically getting data from the MBA to our local machine. We need to demonstrate that. We also need to demonstrate some SQL or Python data analysis capabilities. And lastly, we need to demonstrate that we were able to create some sort of a front end where a coach or a player could actually be using the application. It was also very evident that they wanted the topic to be something on game preparation, game evaluation, or player development. And we decided to focus on the game evaluation because we thought it would be the easiest and also kind of the most interesting. We then tried to think through what would be useful for the Jazz in terms of game evaluation, what would be something that they'd be interested in and that could potentially be useful to them. And we ended up landing on thinking about lineups. We ended up deciding we wanted to create some sort of a web app that lets you test and play with different lineup combinations and see how that might affect the stats of the team. We probably spent the next hour exploring different data sets, trying things like Kaggle, looking at different APIs, but we ended up settling on the MBA API. After we spent some time trying to understand it, we were able to get it to work finally and give us data. Using the MBA API, we were able to basically bring in all of the team lineups from the 2021-2022 season. So here's the function that does that. Basically, it just gives you a bunch of data about the lineups, including the minutes they played, their plus minus score, other stuff like that. And of course, who those five players are in that particular lineup. We created a function that would get it for the 2021, 2022 regular season. And then we basically looped through all the different teams, or I guess really all the team IDs, which we got here and created a giant CSV called NBA lineup 2021 that basically had every possible lineup for every single team during the 2021-2022 season. That CSV ended up being 7,500 rows. So that is the total number of combinations of NBA players that happened in this last season. We saved that data as a CSV and we knew we needed to create some sort of a front end that would allow coaches and players to mess around with this data and create some cool visualizations and filters so they could do their own analysis. When it comes to making these types of web applications very quickly and with my limited programming knowledge, I really enjoy Streamlit. I think Streamlit is one of the easiest ways to deploy some sort of data web tool that would allow other people to access it almost immediately. Here's what we created. We call it the MBA lineup analysis tool. So first you choose your team. It has all 30 teams right here. We're big Utah Jazz fans, so we're going to select the Utah Jazz. Then it automatically populates a starting five. It's not necessarily the starting five, it's a starting five and shows you what the minutes, the plus minus, the field goal percentage and the field goal percentage from three point land as well. And then it breaks all that down by these histograms down below. So the blue represents all of the different lineups and the red vertical line is this particular line. So this particular lineup was the outlier by far. It's our starting lineup. And you can see that we played over 600 minutes with these guys. The plus minus for these was huge. It was actually 93, which seems to be almost the largest that the Jazz had. And the field goal percentage was around that 0.5 as well as the three point percentage maybe was about the average around 0.39. Now let's say someone got hurt. So for example, maybe Rudy Gobert could not play that night or we're going to make a substitution. We could sub out Rudy and put in someone like Whiteside, Hassan Whiteside and hit enter. And we can see, wow, the plus minus drops to 27. You know, the minutes is 74, so on and so forth. Basically, this is a hands-on tool for coaches and players to see how different combinations of players affect the game. All right, Graham, so if I were to continue this, if I was you and we're going to continue this and make it better, which I definitely think we can make better, here's a couple things that I would do. So first off, I'd go to GitHub and you're already a collaborator here, but the people watching this video will not be. So they'll go to code and they'll basically fork it one way or another, whether that's you know via the zip or GitHub desktop, that way they have access to their own code. And some things that you or someone else could add. The first thing that I think needs to be addressed is if you go down to four players, it'll throw an error, right? So I think what we wanna do is basically put an if statement. So we're only going to um, show this stuff if the number of players is equal to five. The next thing I'd probably add is I'd add a secondary horizontal line that is maybe dashed and in, in, in black that would show the mean. 
so to do that, you would basically just add uh, these, let's see, these extra V lines, but instead of in DF important min, it would be DF, DF team min dot mean, basically. Another thing is that we only really looked at like the select your player. It would be cool to like, for instance, this, this would be more work to either add a whole new section on like the just exploring the team data in general, right? Because like there's no way for us to look at the data for for just the team as a whole. It has to be five players. You have you have no choice, right? It'd be fun to have either like another page or somewhere on this page where you could add someone else that would be able to um, that that would explore the whole team as a whole. But maybe the most important thing would be a call to action to people who are looking here. So you could you could have potential readers that want to add to this or change it. And so you could say, you know, you could fork the repo at this link, but more specifically recruiters, the jazz, you want to say, reach out to me, contact me at this email or this link. So if you want to make any of these changes, I will give you the code and all the data for absolutely free. Just go ahead and click the link down below in the description that says resources, sign up, and you'll be able to have the resources at your pleasure. By the way, my name is Avery Smith. I'm doing 30 data science projects in 30 days. If you enjoyed this video, I think you'll enjoy this video as well. Please check it out. Bye.